Hey everybody, Fairy Cottage Soapery here with our second episode of No Rules Crafting. Today we're going to make a really simple air plant holder using the two macrame knots that we went over in episode one of our No Rules Crafting. The bark side knot and the square knot. So if you haven't watched that episode yet, you should watch that if you want to follow along with us making our uh, very basic macrame air plant holder that we're going to do today. So getting right started, uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need eight three millimeter macrame cords measuring probably about uh, three feet long. Then you're gonna need an extra uh, three millimeter macrame cord that's about three feet long to do a gathering knot, which we're going to do at the very end of our project. So to save a little time, I've already attached our eight three feet long macrame cords to our dowel using uh, the lark's head knot. Oh, and I forgot to mention too that you're going to need a dowel or you can actually even use a branch uh, that's at least probably a half inch uh, thick to do this project. So if you don't have a dowel, you can just get a branch and that will work too. Uh, you can get some dowels pretty cheap at Joann Fabrics. Um, I think they're about two bucks each and um, you know, you could do several projects on using just one of them. So what you're going to need to do is attach the eight cords to your dowel using the Lark's head knot like we did here. And the next thing you're going to do is um, you're going to do four square knots across this top row right here. So I'm going to um, show you again the square knot. This is a very quick project. Of course, the video probably won't be as quick as it will be when you are whipping this up. So you're just going to create those four square knots across the top. And you know, as you're working through this project, if you're new to macrame, it's a little bit of upper body strength here holding your arms up like this. So I know it sounds silly, but um, you'll see what I mean as you start macrame. Um, and if your arms get tired or your neck starts aching, make sure that you definitely uh, move your neck around from side to side. You know, do some stretching because um, you wouldn't think this would be a hazard, but... Honestly, it's it's if you're not used to holding your arms up in the air like this, it's it's a little bit of a workout. So make your four square knots across the top like that. Okay, and the next thing that you're going to do, once you have your four square knots across your top row here, is you're going to then go in two cords. I just use your left because that's that's what I normally do. I'm a creature of habit, but no rules here, so you can start two in to the right if you want to. And then you're going to take two cords from your first square knot and two cords from your second square knot and make a square knot starting in your second row here. And we're doing a diamond shape here. So you're going to proceed to make three square knots on your second row.
Okay, as you complete your second row, you're gonna have two extra strings chords on the right and two extra on the left. So four, three, and then obviously our next row is going to have two because we're gonna do a diamond pattern here. Or actually I should say uh, upside down diamond pattern. So now you're gonna go in four chords and you're gonna take two chords from your second row square knot and two chords from your next square knot. And you're gonna to proceed to make two square knots in your third row. And we're going to just do a little stretching here behind the scenes, moving my neck around so I don't get a neck ache. So now we have four extra chords on the right and four extra chords on the left. And now we're going to go in two, four, six chords on the left and start with our first square knot and our third row. Actually, I should say this is our fourth row. And we're done. So we did four, three, two, one. And we have our upside down diamond pattern. And as I mentioned, this is a very basic, basic little project for you to do. So you could stop here and make this a very basic macrame wall hanging for a small area. You could cut your cords, comb it out a little bit to give it a little bit of fringe and it makes a nice cute little wall hanging. But we're actually going to proceed on for this project and create our air plant holder. So the next thing that I need you to do is you're going to take two chords from your left, two chords from your right, the outer two, and you're going to go about mm, two inches down, two and a half inches down from your center square knot, or longer if you want. Remember, no rules here. And we're going to use these cords to make a square knot right here in the front. Like that. Then we're going to proceed to make two more square knots. So three all together. Just like that. And this is the point of our project when you're gonna turn your work around So that you have the back of your project facing you now. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the four knot or the four chords in the middle directly lined up with the, the four chords that you just made the two square knots in the front and you're going to proceed to make three square knots using these four inner cords. You 
might be able to hear some soft snoring in the background because I think I've put Jack to sleep with my nodding. All right, so we have three chords in the back, three chords in the front, and now next we're gonna make three square knots in the right, three, uh, three square knots in the left. We're creating a little hammock for our air plant to rest in. It's not the easiest thing um, filming this so that everybody can see it. Uh, You have to sit awkwardly in order for people to be able to see what we're doing here. Okay. Our last set of square knots. <laughs> Jack's making all kinds of moaning and groaning noises. I don't know if he wants me to be quiet or what. If you didn't know, Jack is our 106 pound pit bull slash lab mix. He's an older fella. He likes his naps, likes quiet. All right, so there we go. So at this point, you're gonna turn your work back around And this is where you're gonna, we're gonna learn the gathering knot, which is something new that we didn't go over in our first episode. So this is where you're gonna get your last three foot long, three millimeter macrame cord. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna loop it up like that and you're going to gather your work up. And actually I made a mistake. So what you need to do is you need to turn your work back around because we want the gathering knot to be in the back. It's a good thing this is called no rules crafting. Okay, so now that we got the back facing us, we're gonna take our gathering knot, this little tail's gonna be at the top, and you're gonna grab a hold of all your cords right below where you did your square knots, and you're going to put your loop with a little tail at the top like that. Then we're just gonna proceed, oops, to wrap our macrame cord around all of our cords like this. Hopefully you can see it and my arm isn't in your way here. I, I go four or five, six times, how many ever times you want for the look that you're going for. So after you get it wrapped around, oh gee, sorry. After you get it wrapped around like that, you're going to put it through this little towel that's sticking out uh, of the um, loop that you made like that. And then what you're gonna do is, I don't know if, it's, if you can see it or not, but this little towel that's sticking out here, you're gonna just pull it and what this does is it grabs a hold of your, your cord and it pulls it up into making a gathering knot. Then we're just going to trim off of our cord here. 
And now we can turn our work around so we can see it. And this is where you can like adjust your gathering knot if you want it to look a little different. That's how it looks now. So we created this little hammock to hold our air plant, which I have right here an air plant that we can put in there so I can show you. In these air plants, I bought these air plants on Amazon. Um, they came in a whole uh, a whole bunch of a whole bunch of them came together and. Uh, for these air plants that I have, uh, you just need to soak them once a week for a couple hours, totally submerge them in, in a dish of water, and then just let them air dry, um, and then you can put them back in their little hammocks. But I'll try to get closer here so you can see how cute it is. And this just it makes a cute little um, decoration for any area, really. Uh, next, what you can do lastly is you can um, you can cut your cords off however you want. You can leave them long, you can cut them short, you can comb them out, you can knot them at the ends. Um, you can do really anything you want with this because, you know, you're the boss. And then usually what I do is I cut, uh, I cut these about hmm, probably like an inch on each side and then I attach a little hanger to it and uh, just makes a great little gift or just something for yourself to look at. So I hope that you enjoyed our uh, uh, episode two, making a little air plant holder. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me and I hope you have a great day. Thank you, bye-bye.